the last video that I'm really gonna shoot. Hey, got a bee on the thing. Oh, it's attracted to the. Oh, look at the little bee. Look at the little bee. Hey, there's a little bee on the thing. Hey, little bee. I think it's it likes the uh, the black and yellow. Oh, uh, it was it was seeing if the little the little black and yellow tag was a bee. I like that. That was cute. Anyways, sorry for that little distraction. Is there spiritual warfare going on? Ladies and gentlemen, the answer is yes. Like, there's very clearly a spiritual warfare going on right now in the world. Like, and on every level of every dimension that you could ever imagine. <laughs> no, but in truth, I think it's a war against the self, right? I think, truthfully, the only war in reality is the one you're fighting against yourself. So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Sending out a lot of love. It is Lunar. Remember my message, take fate into your own hands and don't let fate control you because this life is what you're going to make out of it and what you want to make out of it and what you came to make out of it. But truthfully, I think it is a spiritual warfare. Now, I can take this video and go into multiple directions of what I think it is. Truthfully, I think that one part of the spiritual war is keeping you distracted and keeping interruptions happening in your life immediately when you get focused i was going to say as soon as you get focused but immediately when you get focused i feel like when you start to focus up things happen like little synchronicities that try to test you if you're going to stay focused and i've seen this happen to me a million times to where i am now and i'm realizing now well no i was aware of them but now i'm gonna stop them and one of the biggest things is is i is patterns that other people are, re are repeating be extremely careful not to get caught in other people's patterns okay you know what i decided to cut out a part of the video that i was going to have in it and honestly i'm just going to go back to my uh, original original thing about it being a spiritual warfare i feel like you can spin it in every different way you want like i was saying but i think one of the biggest things in this spiritual warfare are this world around you that you've been programmed to believe works in a certain way is literally part of that spiritual war the distraction against the self i feel like everything that you've been taught you need to unlearn and it's not even that i feel like you need to you need to because the world does not operate the way they want you to think shoot i just heard recently that think and grow rich is is the dude was faking some of the stories in there that was funny as hell to me because I had my suspicions. You know that intuition, that gut feeling that you be having about certain information you come across? Of course, intuition is your higher mind, so follow it anyways. But I just felt that and I was like, you know what, like thinking grow rich is a little bit weird. Like why does it why does it almost seem like too movie like in certain situations? Not saying that, you know, can't be. But again, even when I was uh finding out that some of the information wasn't completely accurate. Some of the things in there do still apply to how the law of attraction works and how um, reality being a mirror works. Now, another thing that I want to say is also, I don't even know from the source that I heard it from is true if the book's sources weren't real. But, you know, I'm starting to hear that Think and Grow Rich wasn't even real. But when I did my own research, I knew because the things that I was finding didn't resonate with me when I actually took a look at the book for myself. But... Like I said, it's it's like a double-edged sword. Like people mix the truth with lies. Not everyone does that. People that truly are in it for the love of the soul. So, okay, I'm going to wank my own spiritual ego for a minute. Someone like me is not going to mix truth and lies. I'm just going to tell you straight up. Reality is an emotional mirror. Whatever way you spin it, attract attracts like. So you're going to get, you know, you're if you get distracted, and you you react too much to the distractions the universe is just going to feed you more distractions you'll you'll be caught in an endless loop and um uh the thing is is joe rogan said the scary thing about life would be to find out that life never ends like we die come back die come back die come back funny enough no i feel like joe rogan knew exactly what he was talking about and truth just came out of it because that's exactly what it is I I have visions of past lives. I literally can call things before they happen. Like I'm literally seeing into alternate timelines. We definitely are dying and coming back. The Egyptians even found that you're repeating your life over and over. Shit, 
They were mummifying the corpses so the soul couldn't come back to the corpse and find their corpse. And I don't even think it's because they thought mummies would come back up and raise from the dead. I literally think that they, they believe or they thought that you would your soul would find the body in another life. So you would recognize yourself in another life and you would just try to come back to the same life. And um, I believe with how deep these cycles get for people and patterns that they end up repeating them into the, same, into the next life. There was even someone who said, uh, my mentor B.O.B. said that you pick up where you lost it. Like you pick up where you left off. So in the next life, you're going to pick up whatever karmic cycle that you did not figure out in this life in the next one. So you're just going to pick it. And I said that and it was three through three. That's crazy. But um, I will never stop yelling out the numbers when it's recording time or like like when the recording time hits a certain number when I, you know, confirm something. But do your own research, make your own mind up, like I said. But the truth is, is regardless is on this path you're being distracted like everything and and i'm trying to and i was literally saying this to my partner like bro it's everything like some people don't realize the weight that some of us carry which is okay it's not our weight to it's not to play the whole oh my weight is bigger than yours but i'm telling you once you see the world for what it is you can never unsee it and it literally does at first make everything hard like make everything that you were already doing in reality like three times harder to do because now you see the world for what it is and you start to question is existence even worth experiencing but i truly believe why would you come here to experience this if it wasn't what did you come here to experience and learn the character that you created before you went to the game why did you do it see that's why i say i know it's a game that we built to play now with having that said there are some players in this game that wrecked it and i said that four 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 like i was like that's crazy um literally there are players in the game at the top using things like the law of attraction all these secret societies don't got nothing on you your own ignorance is what's cooking you there's no secret society that's that's freaking the upper echelon if literally legends like people realize that they were legendary and champions and they came together you could shift the whole balance of the world but they're not they're being distracted that's why i think a large portion of this spiritual warfare even though there is no external enemy but yourself on the inside is literally that is to keep you distracted from learning who you truly are i think there are hundreds of millions and copies of people that are in jobs that they don't want to be in that they're in situations that they don't want to be in that are going to school for other people like their parents that are that are so distracted by everything going on people that are comparing themselves their lives to people on social media to people that are literally like comparing their lives to to not even just people on social media but like celebrities that they've seen on tv because before social media i think this whole thing has been one gigantic psychological just destruction of the collective consciousness and i feel like games like assassin's creed um games like persona and look up persona they show you what's actually going on like they 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 take their own way and spin it um ai the somnomium that people recommended me to play recently and i ended up beating it but i didn't i don't think i recorded me beating it but i almost got like every path complete and in that it almost shows you what's going on through the character date and uh there's an anime i'm gonna make a video on it called spriggan it was a novel i think it came out in 1986 where literally wait until i make that video but even even the animes have the the keys in them that they're trying to show you if we literally with the willpower and faith within ourselves could stand up against the system we could break it we could end this divine matrix once and for all and take back power and i do feel like that there's people at the top hearing voices like mine and others that have made stances in reality that are going to try to change this hopefully because i think we're leading down to another matrix reset so if you don't already know the matrix has been reset before i mean it's how we're aware of the other lives but the truth is is that i really think that we could change this to heaven on earth i really think we do we can or maybe it's just one big ass endless cycle i'm not sure but the truth is is you are getting distracted you need to stop getting distracted because everything that's happening into your reality if you're not choosing it to be your entertainment or making the conscious choice that this is what you want to pay attention to your attention is being dragged somewhere else i even tell this to people who want to be content creators or want to want to do anything right if you're watching someone for inspiration or watching someone to get some ideas that's that's good okay 
But I still think that your own ideas will come from within you. If you meditate and sit with your own mind, your own ideas will come. And another thing is, is if you are paying attention to other creators, you are feeding into their part of the dream because we are all dreamers. We're all dreaming this collective reality. So if you're paying attention to someone else, you're growing their reality. And if you're also someone who is strong, like you like when people get together and it's like two universes colliding and you are just two beasts imagine if you realize that by yourself and you're watching a creator because that's how it works like i have literally said something on my mind or thought about playing a game one of the biggest examples of this and i'm not saying he's directly a result of this like oh yeah i'm the reason pewdiepie played terraria I literally was talking about it would be awesome to collab with someone like Chippy Gaming when I was doing gaming videos on my old channel. When I said that, I kid you not, I go into PewDiePie's live stream and I see Chippy Gaming watching him try to play Terraria, right? And um, he was commenting during the live stream and I was like, oh, you know, PewDiePie's got like thousands of millions of people watching him. So maybe maybe he's not even gonna see the, the comment, but you know, it would be cool if you see it. Next video I end up seeing pop up in my feed, like maybe a couple days later, is him collabing with Chippy Gaming. Like that's how the universe does it. It's synchronicity, but the power of your attention is literally creating what you see. So I'm saying, if you're someone in your reality, realizing that you're doing this, do not get distracted by the outside world. Put your attention completely into what you wanna create and you will see magic happen. Because I feel like that's the part of the spiritual warfare, keeping you distracted from everything going on. And I, feel, I literally feel like I could speak so boldly and confidently about it, not only because I'm experiencing it, because that's truly my path to be talking about it. Because every time I start talking about it, I completely flow. I feel like you're being distracted. You need to pay, you need to ante up. You need to tighten the fuck up stone the fuck up as trevor belmont would say from castlevania and take control of this shit because you are truly a badass you're badass don't let this system break you because i'm out here facing it too if you realize what's going on much love in moonlight love you guys peace